Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? My name is Tong and I work with an organization called ARCO, which stands for Immigrant and Refugee Community Organization. And I work there as a youth advocate. So today I want to read the story called The Origin of Coconut Tree, uh, translated by Mountain Owl. And I want to read it because it, I really like it and I think we can learn many moral stories, some moral stories, moral lessons from, from, from the story. So before I start that, I just want to mention that, that uh, I get this story from online by searching Burmese stories. Or Burmese folklore stories, and then another image that I use are from Google Image. Um, I I I search it through uh, license like with with the with license for license for non-commercial use. So the picture I so I did not intend to co copyright any. I did I, I did not intend to infringe any copyright. So I just want to let everybody know that. All right. So before we start the 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 story, I want to ask us a, a little bit of questions. So given the our story is gonna be about coconut tree, my first question is, what is a coconut tree? Have you guys seen coconut tree in United States? I haven't seen a lot of coconut tree in United States, so I, I so that's interesting to me. But in Burma, there's a lot of coconut trees. The place is the place where I live has a lot of coconut trees. It has it is long, it is tall, very very tall. Um, it might be one of the tallest trees I have ever seen. And then the second question is, what is a coconut fruit? I, coconut fruit is this tough um, fruit. Fruit um, you cannot peel with your own hand, but uh, you have to use something like a knife to peel it, to, so that you can eat in what is inside or to to drink the juice. Um, food won't have a lot of it, so if you want to go buy some coconut fruit, go go to food bun, they have a lot of it. And what can you do make with coconuts? In uh, actually in America, there's a lot of coconut. They use a lot of coconut milk in in their um, in their food, in their recipe. And. Also in Burma, we use a lot of coconut fruit, uh, coconut milk. Uh, one of the one of the dish I really like is called Ono Kofe. Um, we use coconut milk, boil it, and put chicken in it, and then put noodle in it. It tastes so good. I know that's not co the complete um, ingredient, but coconut milk was used a lot. It's used a lot, so it's really really tasty. So if you guys want to try it, um, maybe you can ask your mom or your dad. And then the, the next question I have is, how does coconut arrive in Myanmar? There's a lot of coconut in Myanmar compared to the United States. How, what, do you, how, what do you think? Does it arrive? from a different country and people get the seed of the coconut and plant it in Burma or coconuts are uh, coconuts are there already in Myanmar before anybody came over so that's that's kind of interesting to me to think about and then do you remember a time when you eat or drink coconut you know, the first time that I eat or drink coconut, it was, I did not like it at all. It was strange for me and 
yeah, I my favorite fruit is orange, so it's not like orange, so it's really really different taste. Do you like it? Where where you, where's the place and what do you do when you were eating or drinking? Where are you were you playing with your friends, or are you just sitting in your room and just drinking it? All right, what is the setting of this story? As I said in the beginning, this story is from Burma, so this story takes place in Burma. And so the first, so where, where do you think Burma or Myanmar is? So first of all, I want to explain a little bit about Burma and Myanmar. Burma is known by British, when British colonized us, um, the country is called Burma, but now we switch it to Myanmar. So where did the Myanmar is? Have you been there? Do you want to go there? So if you look at their world map, Myanmar is if you look at if you point China and and go down go down go down south uh, go down south, that's Myanmar. Or if you're in India, if you go uh, if you go east, or if you if you were in Thailand, if you go west or if you in if you were in Malaysia, if you go north, then you will find where Myanmar is. It's a pretty big country, but nobody will nobody many people are not are not very sure where where Myanmar is. All right, so before we really really go into the story, there is some vocabulary that I think we must know before to understand story better so the first the first vocabulary I think we should know is um, called raf r-a-f-t raf so according to the dictionary a raf is a flat buoyant structure of timber or other material fastened together used as a boat or floating platform so a raf is not really a boat when you see a boat, you can. Well, I guess you can. Uh, a ref can also be a boat, but it's not really a boat that you see these days. It's just a flat timber materials fastened together, and it just float on the, on 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 the water. So, and then this, and then the second. The second, the second word I want to uh, ask to know is the word set adrift. So set adrift means to send a ship, boat, or raft out to sea without a crew or resources to steer it. So, so when you say set adrift, you would have a raft, but there's nothing for you to steer it. You just go along with what the current take you to. Probably I wouldn't want to be that type of ref where you cannot steer it. What if you know the ref steer into ocean? And then the third words I want us to um, know is bewitch. Bewitch means casting a spell over someone. So for example, like, if you watch movies. Where there's a lot of witches and other uh, supernatural stuff, um, the witches usually cast a spell for 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 her for his or her, or her enemies to stun, cannot do anything, uh, breathe hard, etc. So that was bewitched me, and I executed. I, there's a lot of definition for executed, but in this context, it means carry out a sentence of that or legally condemned person. So that means, um, like for example, like when you are when somebody commit a crime, and the judge, you know, pass out laws and stuff, uh, pass sentences and stuff. That's called executed. He executed executed uh, a sentence, right?
And then the next word I want us to know is injustice. Injustice according to the dictionary means lack of fairness or justice. That means, for example, like you and your siblings were eating ice cream. And then your sibling got two ice cream and you get only one ice cream. And you think it's unfair. So that means you feel like injustice has been done to you. And then another word is remorse. Remorse means deep regret or guilt for a wrong committed. So that means, have you ever feel like, feel sorry or sad or regret or regret some of the things you do? Like you may do something horrible and you feel like you shouldn't have done that. Um, that's called remorse. And then other words is a strange word. It's called teeter tattle. I don't really see that word in a lot uh, in my readings, but teeter tattle means ideal talk or gossip. That's where it's really important to understand this story. And then what is mischief? And uh, the next word is mischief. Mischief in trouble. So for example, like if when your when your brother or sister take your stuff and destroy it and cause trouble, then they are causing mischief because they are making trouble. All right. Alright guys, I think we are ready for reading our story. The story, The Origin of the Coconut. Many hundreds of years ago, a raft with three people on it reached a city on the Burmese coast. The three strangers were taken before the king. In answer to the king's question, the strangers said that they had been set adrift on a raft on the orders of the king of their own country across the sea because they were found guilty of certain crimes. One of the strangers was a thief, another a witch, and the third a mischief maker who harmed people by his tittle tattle. The king gave a house and 1,000 silver coins to the thief and allowed him to settle in Burma. He was a thief only because he was poor, explained the king. And now that he's no longer poor, he will make a good subject. To the witch, also the king gave a house and thousand silver coins and allowed her to settle in Burma. She bewitched people merely of jealousy, explained the king, and she was jealous of others only because she was poor and unhappy. Now that she is rich, she will no longer be jealous of other people's happiness. But the king ordered the mischief maker to be executed at once. For, said the king, once a mischief maker, always a mischief maker. So the mischief maker was taken to the place of execution and his head was cut off. The next day, one of the king's officers passed by the place and to his surprise, he found the head of the mischief maker rolling about the ground. He was the most surprised when the head of the mischief maker opened his mouth and said repeatedly, Tell your king to come and kneel to me here. Otherwise, I will come and knock, his, knock off his head. The officer ran back to the palace and reported the matter. But nobody believed him and the king was angry, thinking that the officer was trying to make fun of him. Your Majesty can send another person along with me, suggested the officer, and he will surely bear me out. So another officer was sent along with the first officer to the place of execution. When they reached there, however, the head lay still and remained silent. The silent officer made his report, and the king in anger ordered the first officer to be executed at once as a teller of lies. So the unfortunate officer was taken back to the palace of execution and his head was cut off in the presence of his fellow officer. 
When the execution was over, the head of the mischief maker opened its mouth and said, Ha ha! I can still make mischief by uh, my tittle tattle, although I am dead. The officer, realizing that gross injustice had been done to the dead officer, reported what they had seen and heard, and the king was full of grief and remorse. The king, realizing that the head of the mischief maker would make father mischief by his tittle tattle if it was to remain unburied, ordered that a deep pit be dug and the head buried inside it. His orders were obeyed and the head was duly buried. But the next morning, a strange tree was seen growing from the place where the head had been buried. The strange tree had even stranger fruit, for the letter resembled the head of the mischief maker. The tree is the coconut tree. It was originally called Kaompe, which in Burmese mean mischief maker tree. But during the course of centuries, the pronunciation of the name has, deter has deteriorated and it is now called Ompen or coconut tree. And if you shake a coconut and then put it against your ear, you will hear a gurgle noise for, you see, although now a fruit, the head of the mischief maker still wants to make tittle tattle. Alright guys, I, I hope you can, uh, you listen to the story and it's re it was really interesting to you. So the first question I want to ask is, how do you like the story? Do you like the story good? Or do you think the story is bad? Or do you think the story is like, meh, it's good and bad? And then the second question I have is, who are the three person and why did the priest three person come to Burma. I want to give you a hint. It is the, in the beginning of the story. What was the king's judgment about the three persons? Why did he judge the way he did? And this question is kind of like a little bit um, thinking question so that's not right or wrong here so the question is what do you think about the king's judgment do you think he was generous maybe unfair well tell me why why do you think that and another another question I have for you is in this sentence your majesty can send another person along with me against the officer and he will surely bear me out what does the word the phrase bear me out mean in here in context all right guys another question i have is what do you feel about the mischief maker do you think he's a good guy a bad guy a funny guy tell me why why do you guys think there's no right or wrong answer here you guys it's about your imagination, your logical reasoning. And do you think it was a good solution by the king to bury the head of the mischief maker? I suggest of the king because he was really, really um, scared that you know the mischief gonna cause another trouble. He made his servants to dig a very big pit and then bury it in there. So do you guys think it was a good idea for the king to do that? And then how do you think the head become a coconut tree? Now use your imagination. There's no right or wrong answer here. Maybe the head become a seed. Maybe the hair of the mixture become a, a, the leaf of the coconut tree. What do you guys think? Just use your imagination and let us know. So another activity that we have is uh, to end this stories or post activity and you can do it if you can it's not really required so but if you guys do it um, just let me know how it goes 
So these are the instruction for the post activity that you guys can do. So first of all, get a coconut. One has a lot, and then cut it from the middle. So you might need uh, a a strong knife to do that to cut in the middle, and then put the two parts around your ear. And and then notice what it sounds like. And then tell us in the comments or in Google Classroom how does it sound like? Does the means keep ber the means keep person speak speak through the coconut? Let us know. So this is our video for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. We will. I will be reading these stories in the future, so come and check it out. Maybe I might read romantic, maybe horror story. So you never know. So come check out next. Like come check it out, and have a nice day. And thank you for listening. Bye.